this is Traveling Pants and my name is Saurabh Pant and I am wearing a blazer because I am just so sexy, guys. One thing which is there in India's air security is it's completely different from most places. In most places abroad, they allow non-travelers to enter the main terminal in an airport. In India, we don't. We can't. Because with each passenger, there'll be like 11 people. Like some people weeping, some utaroing arti, some reading their namaz. Like half the announcements on the terminal would be, oh, please uh, stop, stop hugging for heaven's sake. Just let them go. Just please, seriously. Sir, are you doing a havan at the airport? Seriously, that's a fire hazard, sir. Everyone, please stop. And also in some Indian terminals, we started a thing where non-travelers could get in for 60 rupees. And you don't see anyone who's related to anyone. You just see random people come in and sit like, aise itin ghande ke so ja, Ashgar, it's like a hotel room for them. India's security is so strange. Like in Kolkata, you'd have three separate security guards checking your papers for you. And you think, hey, this is great. They're just being precautious. They're being good. That's nice. The problem is it's not that. It's just that in Kolkata, you don't trust one person to get the job done. That's it. You walk in, the first guy has started his own union. He's out somewhere. Second guy is taking a chai and cigarette break, which can last from anything between like four minutes to 11 years. And the third guy was accused of rape, but turned it into a political propaganda. That's a Mamta Banerjee joke. It's not funny right now. Just find Google propaganda. You'll get it. The stupidest shit is that guy, this one guy who randomly gets picked for security while entering the airport. There's always one dude who gets pissed off. He's like, this is ridiculous, all right? I'm an innocent citizen. I'm a reputed businessman from South Bombay. I work in marine lines. Do I look like a terrorist? I mean, seriously? Same when a bomb explodes in an airport and India's like, these people are crazy. They should do random security on people. Like, Saleh, unko kaam karne de. what's your problem? And if he goes abroad, his entire tavar changes. Canadian security like, uh, please, white people, sure. Yes, you can touch me, of course, yes. I will take off my clothes. What do you need? You want to see my anus? Yes, I will do anything for you. White people. Mm. And what does the shit people say? Do I look like a terrorist? Uh, seriously? That's the whole point of a terrorist. They want to blend in. You don't see a terrorist walk into an airport with a t-shirt saying, Osama Ru. Wearing bling that says Al Qaeda, making hand signs. I'm from Afghanistan, bitch. Brandishing his suicide bomber jacket designed by Versace. Check it out. AQ style, mother. Like with the Osama mermaid tattoo on his forehead. You don't see that except in Delhi. And those aren't even terrorists. Those are Sardars trying to be cool. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for this bullshit, please tweet to me at Twitter at the rate Hanky Panty. Goodbye. I don't have an Al Qaeda tattoo, but I got a subscribe tattoo. Subscribe tattoo right on my on my on my page, man. Why don't you just click my tattoo, man? It's got a butterfly and shit. Come on.